Universal Pictures proudly presents the film you realized had absolutely no dialogue whatsoever, only after you bought your ticket. Les Miserables, please. Told in award-winning songs of beauty and exuberance. Except those sung by Russell Crowe. Unless you learn the meaning of the law, I have made a false report. We may have met. Characters often singing about things that could be very easily done by just talking normally. Go and draw some water from the well. Hey there, monsieur. What's new with you? Are you all right? Why did you go away? Seriously, they sing everything. So to hit that point even harder, we thought we'd sing the rest of the trailer. Meet the spirit of human redemption, Jean Valjean. A parole thief now on the run, under an assumed identity for reasons never made clear in the entire movie. Who must face off against Inspector Javert, an officer with such terrible priorities that put the entire city of Paris on lockdown to stop a man who already served his time. Follow along in their epic game of cat and mouse that spans 20 years, which is almost as long as the movie feels. Meet Fantine, a random factory worker who brings an incriminating letter to work for no reason and is fired. Sinking into desperation so deep, she becomes the most pathetic woman in France in just two verses of song. Watch her with no hair, watch her with no teeth, yet she becomes the most desirable prostitute in town, which she'll blame on Hugh Jackman, even though he had nothing to do with it. It's Anne Hathaway, like you've never seen her. Literally, she drops dead after only like 20 minutes of screen time. Leaving Valjean to now care for Cosette, her precocious child who was scared of the dark, but totally cool, letting some stranger drag her around the city. Now at the dawn of revolution, one young man will give up everything for a woman he's met through a fence. Corrupting a heartbreaking romance we know nothing about because the entire subplot is glossed over to make room for countless scenes of Borat. Not since the Dark Knight Rises has a movie been so manipulative with its use of time jumps. And not since Chicago has a movie tried so hard to convince you that movie musicals are a good idea. Featuring award-winning songs, but they all sound the same, so without the track listing you won't be able to tell one song from another. Experience over two and a half hours of CGI crane shots and extreme close-ups and the death of Russell Crowe's acting ability Starring I have a very annoying vibrato I really, really, really wanted to win an Oscar I should have never agreed to sing an entire movie they really should have shown less of me and more of Eponine. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice! If your girlfriend doesn't appreciate you after sitting through this movie, then you should really rethink your relation. She.